Welcome to Wellness Wednesday. So with me, Natalie, life doesn't end after 40. It's just getting started. You pour into everyone else and now it's time you pour into yourself. So, woo, all right. Today I want to touch on something I've been thinking about for a while. <laughs> yeah, it's deeply tied to how we perceive ourselves and our mental health. It's about environments we place ourselves in and how important it is to be in spaces that celebrate us for who we are. I've had some recent experiences that got me thinking about this topic on a much deeper level. I've come to realize that we all need to be aware of how subtle and sometimes not so subtle messages can impact how we feel about ourselves. If you find yourself in a place where you're not celebrated, where the energy makes you feel small, or uncomfortable, it's essential that you honor yourself and your worth and step away from that space. Your well-being and peace and of mind should come always come first, always. For me, this conversation is really personal. I've experienced situations where I didn't fully feel accepted despite being in a space I thought would be welcoming. I'm a light-skinned Haitian woman and there have been moments where my identity and appearance have been met with awkwardness and even judgment. Although I'm comfortable in my skin, these interactions reminded me how deeply ingrained biases can be even within communities of color. After a particularly unsettling experience that I'm not gonna go into here, I found myself going down a rabbit hole online. Yes, I did. I saw countless posts and videos of women sharing their opinions about colorism, and I have to say, it's exhausting and depressing. This is where I wanna give a bit of a trigger warning because what I'm about to share might be a bit difficult to hear, but I feel it's really important to bring these things to light because I think it helps explain why so many of us can feel out of place in certain spaces, even when we don't fully understand why. I came across comments from women who felt they were being judged solely based on their skin tone. And here are a few examples of things I read. If I was non-dark skinned with these same features, I bet all my money you wouldn't be calling me ugly. Light skinned women don't develop self-esteem on their own. They get it from being preferred, while dark skinned women are constantly overlooked. Mixed race, white passing women talk all this trash online, hyping up light skinned women and putting down dark skinned women. Half of them are mediocre, but still get propped up. And there were also negative and deeply hurtful comments specifically targeting dark skinned women. So it's not really one sided. Dark skinned women will never be viewed as beautiful in the same way light skinned women are. Men just don't see us that way. If Saweetie were dark skinned, she wouldn't have had the same success. Society would never give her the same chances. Dark skinned women are always playing the victim. I'm tired of hearing it. Do these comments perplex you as much as they did me? Like I, I was just, you know, these comments really hit me hard because it's clear that many women, regardless of their shade, are struggling with feelings of inadequacy and rejection and internalized bias. Like we live in a world where beauty standards have been shaped by history, privilege, and prejudice. And let me, let me be clear, I just wanna be really clear about this. I celebrate everyone, no matter their walk of life, their skin color, their features, or their hair texture, it doesn't matter. I believe each woman is beautiful in her own right. And I want us to celebrate each other in the same way. But I also know we live in the real world, right? We can't always, we can't always be entirely altruistic. People carry their biases, their pain, their traumas, and these things affect us all. While I believe allowing, and while I believe allowing others to time to heal, that doesn't mean we have to put ourselves in the line of fire. We just don't. If someone's energy is harmful to your spirit, it's okay to remove yourself from that space or that situation. You're allowed to protect your peace. You know, we can all protect our peace. We need to protect our peace. That's why I'm talking about it today because I'm sharing these examples not to judge anyone, but to bring awareness. Sometimes we feel awkward or out of place. It's not just in our heads. Like it might be that others are projecting their own insecurities or biases onto us. And that's why I urge you, like we have to surround 
ourselves, surround yourself with people in spaces that celebrate you, that lift you up rather than tear you down. You'll hear me say that all the time. I know firsthand how hard it can be to leave a space where you feel you've invested your time and your energy, but let me tell you, staying in environments that don't uplift you is not worth the toll it takes on your mental or emotional health. It's exhausting, it's draining, and it's unnecessary. Like, you don't have to be the martyr, no. There are spaces out there that will embrace and celebrate you just the way you are. It's like that song, I love you just the way you are. Who sang that, Billy Joel? I don't know why I'm singing, but what I want you to take away from this is you deserve to be celebrated. If a space or relationship makes you feel less than or uncomfortable, you have every right to leave. You need to honor yourself enough to only invest in places that reciprocate that energy. And remember, in those spaces that are reciprocating the energy that you need to make sure that you're celebrating those around you too. Unfortunately, this could be in family situations, this could be in business situations, this could be friendship um, circles. You know, you just have to protect your peace, okay? Please promise, protect your peace. Only go to spaces where you can celebrate the people, you can celebrate the people and they will celebrate you. Um, and remove yourself where they don't. And if this conversation resonated with you, I invite you to join our Empower Her community. It's a safe space where we uplift each other, grow together, and embrace our authentic selves. And you know what to do. If you found this video helpful, I'd love for you to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Tell me about a time you felt out of place. Or even better, tell me a t about a time you felt celebrated. I would love to hear that after this rabbit hole I've been down. I want to hear from you. <laughs> Let's continue to celebrate ourselves and each other with love, respect, and compassion. So until next time, you stay strong, you stay beautiful, you stay empowered, and most importantly, you stay what? You stay sexy so you can keep taking care of yourself and those around you. Peace and love.